What's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashley's Corner. Shout out to the LDBC. And a special shout out to everybody that was in the building for that live podcast on the Smoke City Mobcast yesterday. Jeez, that shit was fire. Okay? My ass was at work and I didn't want to get back to work. I didn't even want to leave the podcast. That shit was fire. Fanon showed up and showed out. Ticket always shows out. Everybody showed showed up last night. Um, shit, Kali and Kali Enigma, fucking uh, K Black was in the building. Black Fight Fan TV. Um, I think he was in there. And uh, seventy eight Sports. Like it was, it was, it was packed. You know, with some of the finest of the LDBC. So hopefully you guys don't um, miss the next one on Wednesday night. Every Wednesday night at night at nine p.m. If you did miss it. Y'all need to check that out. You need to go back on YouTube, go to the Smoke City Mobcast, and check out all the lives that you missed because it'd be straight fire, yo. Straight fire. Yeah, so don't make sure y'all don't miss the boxing gospel every night, every Wednesday night, I mean, at 9 p.m. They be spitting that boxing gospel, yo. Trust me. But I tried to go live just now twice. I tried it twice. I messed up the first one. And I got the second one to go live. I deleted them both because I didn't say anything. Cause I, I I don't I can't do it. I don't know how you guys go live, and it's not showing. It's not using your camera. I don't know how you guys do that. Right now I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm uh, getting my daughter ready. I'm doing too much, and I just wanted to go live real quick. But I don't know how to have the camera like on your thumbnail or on a picture instead of having it on you or some something in front of you. That's what I need to know, how to do that. And how in the hell do you um, be in the chat and listen to, like, you be live and see the people writing in your chat? I don't know how to do that either. Like, do you need a computer and phone? I just use my phone every time I make a video. My computer is broken. It's been broken. It's ancient. I never bought a new one. I ended up buying, instead of a computer, I bought a great laptop. I mean, a great uh, tablet that my daughter broke. Like, broke. So, <laughs> I don't have nothing but the phone to do this and, you know, watching Junior the Truth. Shout out to Junior the Truth, man. He always in the building for the Smoke City Mobcast. You already, he always in the building. But, um, he be driving and it just seems, it just seems like he be on his phone while he's looking at, you know, while he's looking at the people, you know, comment back to him and he be inter interacting with his uh, subs and shit. I don't know how to do it. I know people been asking me to go live for the longest. That's been my problem. That's my problem. I don't know how to do that. And I do not um, know how to give you guys wrenches if I just have a phone. Like, how am I supposed to do that? But that's my problem. After I fix those problems, I definitely will be starting to go live. Most definitely. But... My bad, I had to explain that real quick and you know, cause I if anybody seen what I just did, I had to explain that. And to tell you guys why I can't why I haven't been going live. Like that's the reason I don't I don't have a, a working computer and my tablet is broken. So I only have my phone. And I usually don't talk about a bunch of other shit before talking about my video. So I apologize, but I'm gonna get right into it. <laughs> It said that uh, Pedraza should get his shot for the WBO against um, the lightweight title holder, uh, Ray Beltran. And the winner of that fight is signed. And both they both agreed and signed to fight Lomo, whoever wins their fight. So after this fight, after this title fight against uh, Beltran and Pedraza, they will be getting a uni unification uh, match, I guess, right away. With Lomo. Now, about Ray Beltran and Pedraza, okay? Pedraza should beat Ray Beltran. I want him to beat Ray Beltran. For two reasons. He should beat him because he has better footwork and he's faster and he's more accurate. That's it. Beltran is very. Beltran has the power on his side when it comes to both of these fighters, Pedraza and Lomo. But the second thing is Pedraza would be a better fight for Lomo, not an easier fight, a better fight. I think uh, if Ray Beltran and Lomo fought, it would be too easy of a fight for Lomo. 
All right, it's just, it goes back to that principle. If you station there and you got somebody that got them wheels on their feet, you know, they got good, great footwork, and you just stand there, and Ray Beltran stands jive straight up. It's like a straight up stance, kind of. You know what I'm saying? He'll get ate the fuck up by Lomo, and that's just why I don't want to see it. And But for the same reasons, um, Pedraza should beat Ray Beltran because Ray, uh, Pedraza do have good good footwork, you know, and he is faster. Um, he has a good reach on him and all of that stuff. I, so I'm going to pick um, Pedraza to beat Ray Beltran and to fight Lomo for the title. Um, I don't even know when this fight is going to take place. I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to go with uh, Pedraza getting that WBO belt and having a unification with Lomo for the WBA. But that's it, and that's all. If you guys have any information for me about what I said in the beginning part of this video, please let a chick know, okay? I'm mean, trying to go live. I can't do it. I just can't. It's just not It's not working out for me. So uh, I know I'm doing something wrong. So you guys, um, if you have any information, please put it in the comment section. And um, let's do this. Let's let's start going live. Let me, let me start going live and uh, start getting more in, in tune with my, my subs and answering some real questions that they really have to ask. Is I don't have uh, no problem answering questions. But always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.